Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 314 of Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition. And here we are supposed to talk to... Wow, so that goes us into another area then. So, uh, good thing we saved this so that we have... We still have the perk. We have not used the Black Widow's perk yet. Hopefully our high charisma level will allow us to... Oh, thank God you're here. I was starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him with my scientific background. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking... Maybe you could try and talk to him. Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Okay. Who are these guys? And where is he? Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Please try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people? I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. Hey, hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? The Institute needs your help, Mr. Wallace. It's as simple as that. My help? With... with what? You feeling all right? In exchange for helping us out you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You'd be helping us create a better world. That... that sounds good. Okay, fine. I'll go. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. Hey, I'm here to help. You're welcome. I really mean it. I owe you one. I'll see you back in the Institute. 
Okay, so we solved that one. So that door is inaccessible. Uh, okay, let's keep piling junk on ourselves. <laughs> uh, I guess this place will not need it anymore, right? Uh, so we might as well take them. You must be pretty excited for being named the next director. Okay, let us check the upstairs. Okay, and then I think this goes back out, right? Yeah, it goes back out. Well, at least we solved that uh, <laughs> peacefully. And uh, where to next? Okay, where are we supposed to go? Uh, Where's the guy we talked with? General. Hello, man. Yeah, this is the guy we talked with, right? General. Hey, General. So it's done. General. Yeah. Wow, you know what? We can actually build a series of... Well, people can actually come to our place through this one. Over here. Oh, I did not realize. Jeez. Yeah, right. See? I did not realize that people can actually invade our space through here nuts they can actually crash into our wow we built all that wall and here is a glaring open area that we did not we did not see we did not anticipate uh hmm what if we use blocks? Will they relate? It will not relate. It does relate that way. You know what? What? How about on this side? Why won't it lock? Oh, come on, please. You know what? Whoa, okay. Uh, see, they can just run up here. And we don't even have much guns in that side. Youch. See, we don't have any protection on that side. We just have. A oh, oh, we have, we do have, we do have, but it, it might not traverse low enough. Right, like over here. Yeah, it might not traverse low enough. Okay, that should be enough for now. 
until we have time to actually work on this so okay we are fine uh hold on uh we need to get rid of the items that we have on us So what's a heavy? So heavy is 17, 20, 16, 19. See, we're short on synth chests. And why are we so heavy? Oh, are, oh we still have some. And also, of course, we had some junk. Okay. Uh, okay, that makes sense. So that means let us... Yeah, let us go back to Sanctuary, drop off our excess items. Uh, go to Red Rocket, drop off the two heavy synth. Now, everything... We can drop everything off at the... Sanctuary and then uh, And then let's, let's let's report back to father so that we can continue with the main storyline uh -huh. See this is especially a tricky one because uh, the Minuteman and uh, the synth uh, We will not be forced to make a choice If not, that's a really really hard choice for us just the too heavy. Oh, that's uh, this is actually pretty good. Yeah, we picked up too much. Oh, we picked up too much junk again. Oh, no, no. What? What happened to the cement? Hold on. Did we unload the cement? I mean, not the cement, but yeah, concrete. No, we. What happened to the concrete? Oh no. No, we dropped it off somewhere. Ouch. Mm. Okay. Uh huh. Anyway, forget it. So Synthetic gorilla meat. Okay. I wonder if that can be cooked.
Okay, uh, let us go back to the Institute. Speak to Father. Uh, hopefully, uh, I think well, we might be asked to wipe out the railroad. Uh, uh, that would be something, I so think. Be in New York. Father always did like to challenge our assumptions. What are you talking about? They're acting the same as they do every day. Allie. So, what can I do for the future director of the Institute? Uh huh. Uh. I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye then. Wow. Let's save this before we're given another task that might uh, question our uh, affiliation with the uh, institute. But since we we've, we've made this alliance. Okay. Where is a uh, father's over here? Has Welcome. he? Do you require additional supplies? Sure. Let's take a look. Nope. He has not. Uh. Nope. We don't need those. I think that is uh. Okay. My mom is in your father's Ah, there you are. I cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings. Yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, phase three will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Mother. Wow, should we uh, save lives? You know what? Huh. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It's true. But it's not the whole truth. We are here. And we are... We are not your masters. We're here to help. Here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... Tragedy for all involved. Rest easy. Know that the future is... Looking bright. 
and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? What do you want with Diamond City? Nothing with the city itself. This is a bit of a shortcut, actually. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcasts, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Wow, okay. Okay, so uh, we can easily port to Diamond City. Uh, and uh, we have a ton of water with us, right? I think. So yeah, we 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 need to this. Uh, we need to. Uh, oh, let's yeah, let's go to Diamond City, market. So we are trying to develop the uh, Commonwealth and we don't want to mess with their freedoms as long as they do not intrude upon our freedom. Now, got some great stuff if you're interested. Plus, uh, self-defense at it. Plus we found out that we have to have a certain level of uh, what do you call this? Oh, so they they have not they have not respawned yet. Okay, a certain level of uh, I don't know. I said like uh, what do you call this? Uh, firmness. So that we, we we have to get our agenda through at the same time. So we have to let the Commonwealth know that what the goals that we're trying to accomplish and therefore, yeah, that's why we just got to be a level of firmness at the same time, uh, willingness to respect theirs, but we will not be trifled with. And we've got the Minutemen behind us. So, oh, we can sell another 95. Wow, we still have a lot of stuff. Okay, and we, we might have to buy the... I don't serve sense. Supplies? I've got a few minutes to browse. A bit of everything. This is the one that we're talking about, uh, the, the cement, the concrete. That's about 100 bags, 200. Uh, hmm. Fertilizers. No, really, we what we really need is copper. Wow. Oh, how much do we have? 16? Uh, we might have to sell back the 100 shipment. Okay. Oh, we have... Uh, 
Oh, she doesn't have any water at all. Okay. So we're fine. So our timer just went off. So I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye.